ഹലോ എവറി വൺ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു അനദർ എപ്പിസോഡ് ഓഫ് നിഷ മെനോൺ ബിസിനസ് ടോക്സ് ആസ് യു നോ ഇൻ ദിസ് ചാനൽ വി ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ഇമ്പോർട്ടിംഗ് ഇൻ ടു ദ യു കെ ആൻഡ് സ്ലൈറ്റ്ലി അബൌട്ട് എക്സ്പോർട്ടിംഗ് ഫ്രം യു കെ ഇൻ ടു യൂറോപ്പ് ആസ് വെൽ so as i always say i share it from the experience i have been doing for the last 14 years from india into the uk and i export from uk into europe as well so i am not an expert i am not a customs agent or a freight forwarder but i am just sharing what i am learning on a daily basis or whenever i come across so today we'll be talking about exporting from uk to northern ireland you might have noticed there that i said export from uk to northern ireland so yeah it is an export now so what are the paperwork that's involved and what are the changes that has come after brexit so if you look at the uk map you know northern ireland is part of the uk so we've got great britain which is england scotland and wales and uk is great britain plus northern ireland and southern ireland that is separate so all these was part of the european union or the eu before brexit so after brexit what happened uk including the northern ireland left the eu so there has been new changes with regards to the customs and the paperwork that's involved before brexit it was quite easy because to trade between the southern ireland or you know the republic of ireland and the northern ireland or the uk it was all because they were all part of the same eu trade rules they could just move the goods between these borders it was all within the eu after brexit what happened a new rule had to be implemented because and that's called the northern ireland protocol where they said that there won't be any border checks between northern ireland and ireland but what happens is between northern ireland and uk you know there will be a cross uh, the border check and the thing is all of them they follow the same european rules because europe has got strict rules especially with regards to food you know the milk products are not allowed from a non eu country eggs are not allowed from a non eu country even there are restrictions for these medicines there are regulations in those things as well so that is why the eu regulations are quite strict compared to the others so now let's come to the experience which i had so i had a customer in northern ireland who said that they wanted you know our frozen food to be transported there so immediately what i did was i contacted my transport company and i said that i want so many pallets to be transported from uk to northern ireland and i asked them so what are the new paperwork that's involved after brexit now so what they said was you have to contact our customs agent because you have to clear the customs in the uk and have to clear the customs in northern ireland as well so the first step as i said now is speaking to your transport company and arranging the delivery of your goods from the uk into northern ireland and finding out what the cost will be or what the quote will be so if it's a single pallet it can be a specific quote if it's multiple pallet obviously it will be more affordable or more cost effective to take on multiple pallets so mine was multiple pallets and they gave me a quote so that's the first step then i spoke to the customs agent so the customs agent what they said was i need to provide them with the paperwork along with that i need to understand what are the in quote terms i am providing my customer so in quote terms there are three different types mainly one is dap which is delivered at place which means you are paying for the export or you are looking after the export customs in the uk and the customer will be looking after the in uh, the northern ireland or the european customs you know because you are in charge of delivering the goods to the european port or the northern ireland port that's what the dap means so with regards to eori number you will be giving your gb eori number which is the great britain eori number because you are in charge of uk or the great britain side the customer because he is in charge of the european side of the northern ireland he has to provide his xi eori number the northern ireland eori number is now called the xi eori number the next one is ddp which is duty delivered place which means you are in charge of all the procedures so you will take care of the uk customs and pay any you know fees or anything and you will also take care of the uh, european or the northern ireland side of things which is what i did for the customer because that's what the customer preferred 
there what happens is because i'm taking care of the northern ireland side as well i had to provide them with my northern ireland eri number so my next step was to go to the gov.uk website and apply for a northern ireland or a xi eri number it is called it only takes 5 minutes actually so you go to the website click on to the link and you put all your details and in 5 10 minutes you will get your xi eri number by email so that is what you will be in charge if you are doing the ddp the final one is where you will be least responsible that is called xworks which means your customer will collect it from the warehouse which i have done it to couple of my european other european customers where they'll have the truck coming and collecting the goods from the warehouse and they will take care of your um, the customs in the uk and customs in europe or uh, you know the northern ireland there again you will be providing with your uh, you know your gb eri number because you are the exporter and the customer will have to use their xi eri number so that's the in quote terms the next thing which i had to do was because i'm exporting to northern ireland and i am taking care of the um, uh, you know the customs in northern ireland because my in quote term was ddp i had to register for tss which is trader support service so my gb uri number my uri number had to be registered in the trader support service again that's a very quick procedure i was sitting in the train and doing it actually so it's a very quick procedure you have to just fill up the form and then submit give it to the customs agent saying that i have registered for the tss so these are the main things that was new to me and i had to do when i planned for sending the goods you know to the northern ireland so as we said you have to get your xi uri number if depending on what your inco terms are and you have to register with tss which is the trader support service now let's go through the documents that you need which you have to provide to the transport company and to the customs agent so i i didn't have to provide any packing list or anything like how you import from uh, you know india into uk this was just a one commercial invoice which has got all the details of both the packing list and the invoice so you provide the list of items you provide the uh, commodity code of the products then you provide the net weight the gross weight the number of cases or number of kilos of uh, your products what the value of the product is in what currency is uh, you know the value of these products so kind of the mix of both the packing list and the invoice then the exporter's address the gb eori number xi eori number because i'm doing the ddp the uh, the buyers or the customers delivery address and their eori number which can be the xi eori number also one more thing is you need to uh, state what your inco terms are is it dap ddp xworks whatever it is you know then the another main thing is country of origin you need to declare saying that these goods are made in india or you know whichever place your goods are made in and we declare that it complies with the eu regulations or whatever so you need to state what your country of origin is with regards to the commodity code what you can also do is because i had like 10 15 items i send them a separate sheet with all the commodity codes with all the product name and the commodity codes against them so they it is easy for them to enter it into the system you know so you can provide the commodity codes as a separate uh, document as well so that's the quick wrap up of what are the things that you need to know the paperwork that you need to know about uh, you know when you are exporting from uk to northern ireland and uh, what you can also do is you can always get in contact with your customs agent or your freight forwarder they'll be more than happy to help you out hope you found this um, video useful and um, i know it's too much of information to take at one go so please feel free to pause the video make notes and refer to this when you are doing your export or speaking to your um, you know freight forwarder or anybody just make sure you refer to this so that you have kind of an idea before you speak to them so wishing you all the best with your um, exports as well as always thank you very much for all your support all this while and thank you for all the love that you've been showing me and uh, spreading the word around as well please feel free to uh, like the video and share the videos with your friends and family who will find it useful until next time see you soon bye bye